This program contains some material that many parents would not find suitable for children under the age of 14. Viewer discretion is advised. What's going on everybody and welcome to another figure review today. I have something super special for you guys. I've had these for a while and now I'm finally just getting around to getting to review them. I have right here the Mondo Six Scale Masters of the Universe He-Man figure, which is freaking awesome. I'm super excited to finally be opening this up, especially getting pumped up after watching the trailer yesterday for the new Netflix series. Got me super excited about to even open this up and review it. I've already done Skeletor on a live stream, so I'm finally getting around to opening up He-Man. I do have others that I will be reviewing at later dates, so keep an eye out for that. But with that being said, let's take a quick look at the box. So as you guys can see, you've got some gold uh, portrait of uh, He-Man on there, Masters of the Universe logo. Uh, it says He-Man. We got the little Mondo logo in the corner. Also at the top, it has the Masters of the Universe logo. On the bottom, it has the barcode and some other information. And then on the back, it has got this really cool colored art print of He-Man. So guys, with that being said, let's go ahead and get this opened. And let's take a look at this badass figure. All right, guys. So here is now the actual He-Man. So let's go ahead. Let's get this unboxed. And let's see what he looks like because I'm super excited. So we're going to box this. All right. Glad I'm finally getting around to unboxing this. Oh, look at that. That is just sexy. Look at that. That is super nice. So let's go ahead and let's take him out of there. You guys can see all the weapons that he comes with. He's got the sword. He's got another sword, he's got a battle axe, two guns, the shield, um, the stand and like a sheath for the sword, which is kind of cool. So let's go ahead and look at these. So as you guys can see, so let's take a look at this gun first. So a lot of cool, let's, uh, so as you guys can see, a lot of cool detail on the gun there's a lot of weathering here which is really cool got a lot of got really nice weight to it really good plastic on this that they used so really cool with this rifle or this blaster however it is referred to in the cartoon so pretty cool there um we have this little handheld um pistol again really cool piece nice detail nice weathering Again, this has got some really nice weight weight to it too so it's not like it feels like it's cheap or anything like that and you know for the price point of these figures is actually the accessories look like they're pretty good quality so it's kind of neat there here is I guess a uh, like a smaller sword for him which is cool you guys could see again like all the weathering the chips in the blades the dings the dents and everything um, the leather well this isn't leather but it's meant to look like a leather grip which is kind of cool. So, and again, you guys could see like there's chips and everything to make it look like it's been used. So that is really cool. Then we got this badass battle ax, which is really cool. So again, decent weight to it. Um, again, the weathering, the detail, the shading, the coloring and everything is really, really cool. So good job on this battle ax. And then we've got the shield, which is really cool. So obviously it comes um, not assembled. There's some assembly required. So let's uh, do that real fast. All right, so it plugs in just like that. Love the detail on the shield. Super cool. Again, you can see all the dinks, the dings and the dents and all the damage and everything, the weathering really cool again got the nice strapping the nice plastic you know they did a good job on making this look like uh look like it's leather so really cool job on the shield then we've got this sword which is awesome the he-man sword i have the power which is awesome and that skull on there 
is really cool. That's really nice. Again, not a light, not a lot of nice weathering, a lot of detail on there. Um, you know, obviously, again, a lot of dinks and dens and little battle damage, which is super cool. And then, obviously, the sheathing for the sword, which is cool. So there's, like, little hooks right here, which I'm sure hook onto uh, He-Man. And, of course, the sword slides in like so, which is really cool. So, yeah, um, let's go ahead now and take a look at the figure. All right, guys, and here is the figure. So as you guys can see, it doesn't come with much in the way of um, parts for it, but the parts that do come with it are really cool. So let's go ahead and take this lid off and give you guys a better look at what we got. So as you guys can see right here, we've got about four swap out hands. So two of them are for tr trigger hands for the guns. Two of the other ones are cl closed fists. And then the other hands that are on He-Man right now are for the uh, the shield and the axe and the sword. Um, also, we got his companion right here, which is Burby. So if you guys could see Burby, there he is. Um, there's a stand and a pole right here for him, for him to go on there, and there's a hole for that to port into. So pretty cool. You got like this little propeller thing right there, which is kind of cool. So Burby, hey Burby. And then also, um, this is an exclusive so what's cool is that the exclusive is the um cart is like the uh the portrait from the uh from the retro figures so as you guys can see right there let's adjust the focus on that for a second so you guys can see there is that cool portrait from the 80s figures which i know a lot of people that like the nostalgia display with this one but I do want to display the portrait that's currently on him. Um, paint on this is pretty cool. So it's pretty good. Nothing, uh, nothing out of the norm. So there is the portrait. And last but not least, we have the figure. So let's go ahead and get into that. Let's pull him out right here. And as you guys can see, that portrait right there is actually really cool um i guess this is what they feel he would look like so uh really cool there obviously we got like the uh the leather pleather uh pants we got the uh, the chest protector the belt the gauntlets on the wrist got the uh, fur around the boots and the boots have really good detail on them gauntlets got pretty good detail look at the paint and the shading that they gave him for the muscle and the abs and everything they did a fantastic job on that which looks really clean again the shading and everything for the muscles looks great um as far as the articulation goes um the arm goes out about yay high uh the elbows are single jointed the wrists do have a little bit of pivoting um not a whole lot let me just adjust that real fast um the legs have some of the uh, i guess the quad turns um the knees are double jointed um, the ankles turn, the feet have some uh, pivoting to them. Uh, the head goes down, not so much up. And then as far as the, um, the torso, there's a little bit of give with the torso. There's no ab crunch, very little with that. But overall, this is a really good looking figure. And again, the paint on this is really cool. Again, like I said, with the shading for the muscles and everything, this is pretty epic. So with that being said, guys, it's pose time. Guys, so here he is in the pose and he's looking at yelling, I have the power. So as you guys can see, he's posed like that. There's the sword. We've got the shield. Got him on the stand. Um, the legs are a little difficult to maneuver, but that's why I had to break out the stand. But still a pretty cool pose. And he, yes, he does have the power all right guys and here he is in another pose and as you guys can see we put the blaster in his hand which is super cool and again he's still holding on to that shield which is awesome so he's pretty good pretty good pose when he's shooting the gun you know i don't remember seeing him too much with the blaster in the cartoon um that just might be you know poor memory on my part i've always saw him with the sword but again it's pretty cool that they added him with an additional gun and he's also got that other rifle which is pretty cool but 
I think I'm going to go ahead and we're going to try the uh, posing him with the axe next. So let's see how that goes. Guys, in here, he is posed with the axe. And again, you guys could see the really good detail on the axe. And again, I'm really digging this, this portrait that's on him. And I definitely like again the you know the the shading to make him look so muscular and everything which is really cool and the shield the shield is just awesome so this is another fun pose to put him in um but obviously the pose that i'm going to keep him in is the very first one with the uh, sword up in the air and the shield screaming i have the power but again pretty cool so yeah, guys, I mean, again, at the end of the day, this is a really badass figure, and Mondo does a really great job with these Motu figures, so I'm glad I picked up the rest, and I will be reviewing more of them as um, as I can get to them, but definitely wanted to get to He-Man, because now I can put him in the case, at least, with Skeletor. So yeah, guys, time for my final thoughts. Guys, and that is going to wrap up another review. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I know I did. Very cool. A lot of great accessories that come with this. The portrait's great. The paint apps are great. Um, you know, the articulation is a little on the iffy side. But other than that, really cool figure. So again, guys, if I had to give this figure a rating, I would give it a rating of... Fuck it, fuck you! Yeah. Guys, don't worry. I've got plenty of these Mondo Masters of the Universe figures to review within the next coming weeks. Also, let me know in the comments below what you guys think about this He-Man figure. And uh, yeah, so if you guys like what you saw, please be sure to give a thumbs up. If you're new, please be sure to subscribe. As always, be sure to hit that bell so you get notified every time I do a review and it gets uploaded for your viewing pleasure. And as always, you can check out all the excellent content we offer right here at MCE. And until next time, guys, keep it marvelous.